When I first got the job, Alex McKechnie, head of medical, he sort of spelt out what he expected of the kitchen here in pretty simple terms. And he said, you wouldn't put regular gas in a Lamborghini, you would put premium gas in because they get the best out of the car, you need to put the best in. What's the biggest difference between cooking for a normal person like me, a patron at a restaurant, and cooking for a professional athlete? Cooking for an athlete is different than a, uh, a restaurant patron in a lot of ways. Their needs, obviously, caloric-wise, are much different. They burn more calories in a practice than we would in a normal day working out really hard. So they need a little bit more, but it's not about necessarily the quantity. It's really more the quality that really goes into it. Everything we do here at OVO, we source as responsibly as we can. We're sustainable seafood, it's locally sourced, it's obviously seasonal, organic. We make everything in-house just so we also know what's going in everything. Talk to me about your court, the kitchen. What tools do you have at your disposal here? Well, my kitchen here at OVO is a little unique, especially to a restaurant kitchen. We don't have a deep fryer. That's nothing, we don't have close to that here. There's nothing nutritional about that here, so we don't pretend to do any of that as much as I would love that, and I'm sure the players would appreciate it too. We keep things healthier is more important here. So we have uh, an oven that does all my legwork. I can make a really crispy chicken even in the oven. I don't need a deep fryer. But we also kind of uh, play with some of the tools we have too. We have. Um, a hot box, we call it here, where it just keeps things keeps food warm, but I don't use it for that. I use it for dehydrating things like making beef jerky and our own stuff like that here. So our kitchen's great. It's super well equipped for what we need here, but we kind of repurpose things to make it work for what we do with the Raptors, which is just a little bit different. What are the number of calories a player needs to get through uh, a given practice day or game day. For context, the average person needs about, say, 2,000 calories a day. So our guys, based on their size and their age and being male, they're going to need about 3,000 calories to just like sit and chill, like before they do anything. That's just that's just what it is when you're six foot eleven and you know 240 pounds and 22 years old. It's just that's math. And then your your sport needs go up from there. So we've measured guys in the summer and we hit 6,000 calories for some of those guys. And so you can imagine if you got a young player who needs to gain mass, like people often be like, oh, why isn't that guy gaining muscle? And I'm like, because he needs 7,000 calories a day to do that. You try and eat that. It, it's sort of fun till about somewhere in the mid threes and then it becomes work and you have to be really deliberate about making sure you're getting all those extra things you need in. These guys sweat out so much, we sometimes have to give them triple what the SALT recommendations are to keep them from having problems like cramping. Give us a window into some of the eating quirks that some of the players have had that you've seen over your time here. Yeah, we've well, we definitely had some, I think the palates are really different here on the team, so everybody has their own thing they go to, but we've had some players who really enjoy certain things. We've had players, we brought sushi in and just trays of sushi have gone home with them full trays. We definitely have players who went on big melon kicks and we couldn't keep enough melons in house. We were just just cutting and serving melons. I don't know where they were going, but they were going. Uh, it's not a lot of crazy stuff. Definitely people's breakfast orders are sometimes a little out there. You can see how hungry a guy is in the morning. We've had multiple eight egg omelet kind of orders. Uh, we definitely have players that every morning have a certain amount of pancakes that would be more than you and I would probably think is normal, but it, it happens. And that's on the coaching side too, actually. Ryan, you got a camera? You say hello to me now? I always joke around maybe with some of the players that maybe I turn their like 25 a day and points a day to like a 26 points and it was maybe my smoothie, but uh, you know, who knows.